On the 21st of June, the Sunday Times published an article in which Premier Colin Barnett threatened the city of Fremantle. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, he said. They are wanting things out of the state government, then at the same time they are being critical. That's not a good way of doing business. On the 24th of June, the Fremantle Council responded by rejecting Perth Freightlink once again. I think that the Premier's comments in the Sunday Times were um, questionable in the extreme. It, it truly is extraordinary to effectively suggest that the Fremantle will be black, blackmailed if it objects either to the Perth Freightlink or to the poor privatisation. I think for the Premier to suggest that a local government um, should take a sort of a transactional approach to its conduct. And I think the phrase he used was that, that, our, that for us to be um, lobbying in relation to the Department of Housing and then making a fuss about her freight wing wasn't very good business. We're not in business. I, I am very committed to not building more roads because they do cause more congestion. They do not create really congestion. It is an internationally acknowledged fact in the Western world. Whether the officers who have been working on this new project in the space of the last couple of months, because that's how old it is, have been telling their political leaders, either in Perth or in Canberra, what the consequences of this road will be, is, um, is anyone's guess, because we don't know. We can't even get the information out of them as to what they're going to do beyond Marmion Street. Um, on, on what they're going to do on the bridge, what they're going to do to the North Fremantle Town Centre. Uh, the suggestion that um, you know, we shouldn't bite the hand in fees with its sort of uh, inescapable dog and master metaphor is, is outrageous. It was pretty extraordinary the words, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Um, we're waiting to be fair. Um, it's, it's, it's an open secret in Fremantle that Fremantle seems to miss out on the funding for everything. There's money for every bridge you know, that needs fixing, but it's still not, still not the Fremantle traffic bridge. And, and the list goes on. You know, um, is, what, is, it, is Frio slash Fido meant to lie down on, on, on the map, map waiting for treats from the Emperor? Um, it's outrageous. I mean, I, I, I think probably the strength we should draw from it is, is the fact that if you resort to that kind of language, it shows you've lost the argument. You're not confident of actually having the argument, and it's a very panicked position to take. Yeah, thank you so much for this work, and um, yeah, now we're getting it on. Our own commission report, which is the only really decent piece of analysis in the field, shows that there are better alternatives. This, this resolution, I think, is fantastic because it gives strength to those community campaigners who've got a lot more work in front of them. And uh, there's no guarantee that we'll win, but um, just the, the way it's grown, I'm optimistic that we will. Yeah, I think for me, I guess really the most powerful thing is that this is a big infrastructure investment and one which uh, I think the evidence shows there are better options. And uh, I think that, that's where I feel like we've got evidence on our side to actually say there are actually better, more sustainable options that are going to be not only better for Fremantle, but ultimately better for the wider region. And we need to make sure that we get this right. And I think uh, it's been really pleasing to see this council um, so that's actually just in this regard. So thanks to everybody who has been driving this. It's been moved and seconded all those in favour. That is unanimous. Thank you.